Learning Studio. Hello, friends. I am Aradhya. I am six years old. Today, I will share with you my daily routine. What I do from morning to night. Look, the sun is rising in the sky. It is morning time. I get up from bed in the morning. My day starts now. I brush my teeth and take bath. I eat my breakfast and get ready for my school. I study with other children in the school. The sun is in the sky now. It is afternoon time. I take my lunch with my friends. I come back home from school. I take rest for some time. See, the sun is setting. It is evening time. I play with my friends and then I complete my homework. Look there, the moon and the stars are in the sky. It is night time. I go to sleep at night. Morning, afternoon, evening, night time. Dear children, did you notice the clock in the background? Yes, a clock tells us the time. It has 12 numbers. It has a long hand or minutes hand. It has a short hand or hours hand. Money Hello children, do you go for shopping with your mama? Yes madam. Then you must have seen your mama using money. Yes madam, mama gives money to the shopkeeper while shopping. Absolutely true. We use money for buying various things like clothes, vegetables, stationery, furniture, etc. Come, let us learn more about it. Children in our India, money consists of paise and rupees. We use coins and currency notes in our day-to-day -day life. Look, coins. Here are the different coins that we use in our country. These are the coins of Paise 50, Rupee 1, Rupees 2, Rupees 5 and Rupees 10. Now look at the currency notes that we use in daily life. Currency notes Rupees 5, Rupees 10, Rupees 20, Rupees 50, Rupees 100, Rupees 500 and rupees 2000. Let us now use coins to make different amounts. Paise 50 plus paise 50 equals to rupee 1. Paise 50 plus paise 50 plus rupee 1 equals to rupee 2. Rupee 1 plus Rupee 1 equals to Rupee 2. Rupee 1 plus Rupee 1 plus Rupee 1 equals to Rupee 3. Rupee 1 plus Rupee 2 equals to Rupee 3. See, this is how we use different coins to make different amounts. Similarly, we can make other combinations of coins to add up to different amounts. Why don't you try them out yourself? Dear children, did you notice the symbol P and Rupee? We use P for Paise and R for Rupee and Rupees. Shapes Hello kids! Let's learn something about shapes. What is shape? A shape is a plain figure made up of straight or curved lines. 
Let's see some basic shapes. Square. I have four equal sides and four corners called vertices. I am a square. I am round and I do not have any corners or lines in my shape. I am a circle. I have three sides and three vertices. I am a triangle. I am brother of circle. I too do not have any corners, vertices or sides. I am an oval. I have four sides and four vertices. But my opposite sides are equal. I am a rectangle. Let's color the following figures and identify the shapes. Color the circles. Color all the rectangles. Color the square. Color the triangle. Let's see some other shapes. Cube, cone, cuboid, cylinder, sphere. An ice cube has a shape of a cube. A ludo dice has a shape of a cube. A matchbox has a shape of cuboid. A bottle has a shape of cylinder. A ball has a shape of sphere. A birthday cap has a shape of cone. Data Handling Hello children, come. Let us recall some simple shapes. See, it is a square. It is a rectangle. Here is a circle and this one is a triangle. Children, now look at this picture carefully. Can you identify the simple shapes in it? Yes, madam. It has some squares, rectangles, circles and triangles in it. Let us count the number of four shapes one by one in this picture. There are six squares, two rectangles, three circles and five triangles. Children, Please note that the square shape has come the most number of times, that is six times. And the rectangle shape has come the least number of times, that is two times. Now look at the different types of fruits on the screen. Children, tell me how many types of fruits are there? Madam, there are six types of fruits. Correct. There are apples, mangoes, bananas, oranges, pears and guavas. Which fruit occurs in the maximum number? It is mango. It is seven in number. Good. Now see and tell which fruit occurs in the minimum number. Madam, it is guava. It is only two in number. Absolutely correct. Tell me children, which fruit counts six in number? It is orange. Very good. See 
how simple it is to gather information using the pictorial symbols. Children, now collect all your stationery items like pencils, crayons, notebooks, rubbers and sharpeners. Group similar items together. Count each one and find out which one is maximum and which one is minimum in number. Patterns Hello children, come, let us have some fun with patterns. Look, here are some examples of patterns. See, here is one triangle, one circle, then one triangle, one circle and again one triangle, one circle. Look, we have three vertical lines, one square, again three vertical lines, one square and again three vertical lines, one square. Wow! Children see how interesting these patterns are. All these occur in a sequence. Children, now look at the pattern on the screen. Tell me, what will be the next in the sequence? Madam, there will come two stars. Absolutely correct. Look at this one now. Tell me, what will be the next in the sequence? Here, the next shape will be a rectangle. Very good children. See, these are patterns in shapes. Similarly, we have patterns in numbers also. Let us see how they occur. Now look at the number sequence appearing on the screen. Children, tell me, how many numbers are missing after every number? Madam, only one number is missing. Two is there, then three is missing. Four is there, five is missing. Then six is given, seven is missing and eight is there. Correct. Now tell me, which number will come after eight? Nine will be missing and ten will come. Good. Now look at the sequence. Which two numbers will complete the sequence? Madam, 20 and 30. Very good. Yes, after every given number, four numbers are missing. 10 is given and 11. 12, 13 and 14 are missing. And then 15 is given and so on. I hope you have now understood how to complete patterns related to numbers. Children, why don't you pair with your friend and make some patterns with real objects? You can make use of crayons, rubbers, plastic spoons etc. You may also make use of paper and pencils to write numbers and complete the different number sequences. You will surely have fun!